begin first with Shantanu Sen because the silence of Mamata Banerjee, Dr. Sen, is quite strange at this point when your own mantri is now facing these allegations. So how should we see this? Is this caution for she does not want to likely say anything that, that could affect her national or party's national prospects as well? See, first of all, with all humility, I beg to differ with your opinion. Why don't you consider the tweet, the press conference of All India Trinamool Congress is the statement as the statement given by Madam Mamta Banerjee. Because the official Twitter handle and the official spokespersons like me, mm. whenever they something before camera, mm. you have to understand that that is the statement of Madam Mamta Banerjee. Mm. It has been clearly mentioned the Trinamool Congress has got zero tolerance towards any type of corruption. It has been clearly said that Trinamool Congress has got nothing to do with the money recovered. Trinamool Congress has got nothing, nothing to do with that lady whose name has come up in the media. And Trinamool Congress has strongly said after the investigation is over, hmm. if the person caught found to be guilty, Trinamool Congress will, strong, will take strong step politically as well as the administrative step is concerned. It has been clearly said. At the same time, we have strongly demanded, because so far the record of ED investigation is concerned, mm. we have seen that hardly 25% of the cases finally can find the daylight. So our demand, this investigation should be completed as early as possible, because the, the, the more duration of the investigation, mm. the more chance for the opposition to, um, to malign Trinamool Congress leaders and Trinamool Congress government. So our first and foremost submission, appeal, demand, ED should complete the investigation mm. as soon as possible. And if in the investigation the, anyone is found to be right. guilty, is proved to be guilty... So, so you're saying, Trinamool sir, Congress that uh, there is no reason for her to be silent on this. The party statement is her statement. 100% okay. party statement is our statement. Party statement is statement of Madam Mamta Banerjee. Tom Vadakan, because the BJP is giving out these messages that, you know, this woman, uh, Arpita, who's been taken into arrest, that she was not acting out of her own accord, uh, in many ways hinting because Mamata Banerjee was seen praising her. But right now it is just a raid. What do you say to Dr. Sain saying that we have said that, you know, if it is proven, we'll take action? Why should we jump to any sort of action against their mantri just because there's been an ED raid and which is not even concluded for now? Puja, I, I like the uh, way he said about spokesmen that when they say they speak for the president of the party or the head of the party, and sometimes very often we see the, the head of the party distancing themselves from the spokesman saying that this is not the line we wanted, this is something different. Okay, so let's accept it that uh, she spoke. And now let me say something else. Our case is not that this is Tirmul's money. This is the people's money collected for jobs, okay? And this had to be channelized to whoever and connected people. Now, the issue, larger issue is she's an aide of Mr. Partha and Partha Chatterjee. And this is, I mean, you know, uh, smoking gun evidence. And I must say the uh, enforcement directorate has counted the money with due haste and has come to the conclusion that's 21 crores. And this is not small money. And yes. believe me, you, this is right in public domain. ED is completely on the target and is investigating the case. And uh, this is no non-entity. This is Secretary General of the Tirmool Congress. Okay? And this is cash that is discovered from its closest aid. And if that is, I mean, I defer that it may not be Tirmool's money, but it, it is the exchequer's money, it is our taxpayers' money, people who have wanted to get jobs have paid money and those who have been recruited have not got their jobs hmm. and they keep screaming there's no jobs available yeah, because if you pay cash you get jobs in Bengal if you don't have money you don't get jobs that is the short and uh, long uh, story but, but so, why should they rush to, to rush to remove him right away and not wait for the uh, for the court to decide or the ED investigation to finish see he's no small uh, individual he is the secretary general and he can manipulate evidences. You have to take due precaution. He's a very powerful individual, Puja. He's not somebody uh, who was uh, just a representative. 
he is an important personality and he can influence judgment, he can influence uh, people, witnesses and what have you. Okay. So immediate action in this kind of cases have to be Dr. Shantanu Sain, these are strong words that he is an influential person, he can actually also influence other witnesses. Is this a catch-22 situation for the Trinamool Congress because if you remove it will look like the ED has had a successful mission. They've managed to raid the correct people, the correct mantri, and also at that point could totally backfire for Mamata Banerjee because in this case, uh, this is man is now facing strong allegations and her prospects could also suffer. You have to see a few chronologies, madam. Before that, I must ask you one question. Why Nupur Sharma is not yet arrested till date? Secondly, if, if I request you to go through the chronology, hmm. on 21st of July, there was an historical rally held by Madam Mamta Banerjee, which has definitely shaken the chair of Narendra Modi and Amit Shah. That's why, on the very next day, early morning, without any notice, ED had started raiding, being surrounded by central forces. Hmm. They have started raiding at 13 different places. 